So the comparison is between a cheap grinder and a coffee that has been pre-ground. In this case, this coffee is ground two months back. Welcome to the YouTube channel which speaks all about Indian specialty coffee and the entire target of this channel is to bring Indian coffee level to the international level and we will go there. So thank you for supporting and thank you for liking and subscribing so far. There are a lot of videos that we've done so it'll be great if you share it out. So thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Today's topic is in fact really really interesting. The topic was given by one of our subscribers and who that person is we're gonna let you know in a while. So today's topic is about pre-ground coffee versus ground coffee from a uh, cheap grinder, should I say? From a cheap grinder. For all the newbies who are coming and hopping into the spe specialty coffee, you might have this question because even I had the same question that should I uh, buy whole beans from the roasters and then grind it with my cheap grinder that I've got because I don't want to invest much in the Commandante or all those grinders. And I'm traveling, let's say, to some other state or city, wherever. So should I go for whole beans and grind it in this or should I ask my roaster, roaster partner to just grind the coffee and send it to me? So this dilemma I always had. As a matter of fact, I never tried this comparison to be very, very honest. In this case, this coffee is ground two months back. So I kind of know the answer. All right, just one thing. While brewing, we're going to brew the same way. Everything is going to be the same. Everything is going to be the same. Time, temperature, brewing style, temp everything ratio, everything is going to be the same. In the end, I'm going to taste it blind. So I wouldn't know which sample is what. And then according to that, according to that, we'll figure out basically which is a better option. Now, again, one more thing. This is two month old coffee. The experience with a three day old coffee or a seven day old coffee will be different. I'm assuming there will be no bloom in this. I'm assuming the water will start trickling very slow in this since this is uneven grind and fine particles have gone down in the V60. Another thing, why do we just do it with V60 always? That might be a question for you guys. Uh, I prefer V60 because this is something which is very consistent. I can I can actually measure stuff, all right? In Aeropress, I don't, I, I don't know how much, how hard am I pushing, uh, all those things. I can't visualize that much. Espresso also, too much of complications are there. We can do it in espresso also, but then to calibrate the grinders, all those things are there. Pour over is a no brainer. Uh, it's very easy to compare two pour overs and make it and keep everything the same. So that's why we're doing a V60 technique in this. All right, so first of all, the dry aroma. Uh, this has got more fragrance than this one. This is a little bit woody. Uh, this is the one which is from, which is the old coffee. This one is the hand grinder. Yeah, there's a peculiar oldish kind of smell to it or fragrance to it. It's not really, really bad or pungent, but if you smell a log of wood from a distance, it smells like that. This is a uh, nutty, nuts kind of chocolatey, not bad. So that's the difference so far. Let's start brewing it. So there is a prominent bloom in this, this one. Uh, so you see this, this is all gone down. This is literally like trickled down entirely. So as you can see the drawdown on this one, which is the hand grinder is much slower. And by that I know that this has got a lot of fine migration and because I can see the coarse ground on top also. So there's a lot of fine migration which has come down uh, and it's clogging the paper filter. Whereas this one, it does not have that much of a fine migration as such. It still has, uh, but not to the level of uh, the hand grinder. Okay, time to switch. All the experiments, the Anand suit for confidentiality. This old coffee. There is a peculiar woody taste towards it, stalish sort of taste. This is what it is. Okay, this one is much softer. It has got some kind of acidity. It's not great coffee. Uh, it's but between the two. I dread tasting this one again. And if it's a hand grinder, God, <laughs> throw that grinder right away. It's 
it's like I'm having vinegar soup. It's got a very bad umami taste towards it, and it's got a very vinegarish flavor on it, which is towards a little rancid sort of a thing. This coffee, I know this coffee doesn't taste like that at all. This is not bad. Actually, not bad. This has got a simple, clean, thin body, much thinner than this, much cleaner than this also. Uh, not visually, but even it has got some acidity. This I just can't drink it over anywhere. This is like a wooden cupboard that I'm drinking. You know, like you know, when winters come in, you open your closet and you've got those sweaters which are like smelling of all those things. This is kind of that. So it's time for the reveal, which is what. So I don't remember. So this is. This is pre-ground, right? This is pre-ground. What the hell? And this is the hand grinder. Don't buy this hand grinder. That's what my opinion will be. Go for pre-ground coffee. This is fine. Absolutely fine. I'm not even. And two months old. This is not even a joke. This is two months old coffee. So basically, to conclude this, I would seriously go for a pre-ground coffee. Uh, now this is like two months old versus a ground coffee, which is like super uneven extracted. At least from these two cups, I'll definitely go for an old coffee. What my guess and a bet is that if there's a light roasted coffee, so light roasted coffee, if if it goes old, it is really bad, all right, because the acidity is gone, everything is just gone down. So that is something which is very very interesting. Also, so you guys try that at home. Take a light roasted coffee, so you would find an old light roasted coffee to be having no acidity, no flavor. Just run down water. That's about it. So anyway, concluding, my bet is for the pre-ground coffee. Hit <laughs> in the comment section below. What do you think about it? Thank you, Yugal Sharma. Thank you so much for telling that topic of the video. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have liked it. So please share, like, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Icon. I was watching this line yesterday. So hit the bell icon over here, uh, so that you get all the notifications and pop-ups when we put up a video. Thank you.